Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Hey guys, it's Nick from Us here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Mortal Kombat 11 topic video. With Spawn releasing this month, I thought it would be a good time to talk about who I want to be in the Combat Pack 2. Obviously we already know about Fujin, Shiva, and Ash Williams, and we know that they're going to be in Combat Pack 2 thanks to leaks, so I am going to be including them in my list for that reason and because I love all three characters and would love to see them as playable fighters in MK11 anyways. Let's start with Fujin. The Wind God is one of the best characters from the 3D era games, and he is yet to be playable in the new NetherRealm Studios era of Mortal Kombat. Fujin did appear in the Mortal Kombat X story, and I still think that he should have been playable in that game. Either way, Fujin would be a great addition to Mortal Kombat 11, as he is a fan favorite, and his wind powers are so diverse and unique to the Mortal Kombat world. I know NetherRealm Studios could do a lot of great stuff with him. Fujin would have a lot of great intros with other characters, and honestly, it would just be nice to have another god character that isn't Raiden. I honestly can't wait to see Fujin's fatalities. I hope he rips the opponent apart from the inside out with a tornado. I'm also excited to see what kind of redesign he will get. Next, we all know that Goro is my favorite Mortal Kombat character ever, and since he was a DLC in the last game, it's pretty obvious he won't be DLC again in this game. What's the second best choice? Shiva! Mortal Kombat 11 is lacking the Shokan race, which is the most interesting race in my opinion. Shiva played a big role in MK11 story mode, so she already has a redesign, I think it's only fair that she's included as a playable fighter. She hasn't been playable since Mortal Kombat 9, and she was a really low tier then. I'm hoping NetherRealm Studios will fix her and make her a fan favorite among all. Shiva is definitely one of my favorite Mortal Kombat females, and I think she is one of the most underrated trilogy characters. So, for my third option as a Mortal Kombat representative, I would have to pick Havoc from the 3D era games. He is another one of my favorites, as I think he is definitely one of the most unique Mortal Kombat characters ever created. Havoc is the only fighter we know of from the Chaos Realm, and he has appeared in a lot of arcade endings in the NRS era. Havoc was the main villain of the Mortal Kombat X comics, so I think that there's enough hype and story relevance around him to bring him as a DLC fighter. I can only imagine how badass NetherRealm Studios would make Havoc look with a redesign, and how gruesome his attacks and fatalities would be now. The first combat pack had all classic era characters, I think it would be nice to see some 3D era characters brought back in the second combat pack. Now on to the guest characters portion of the combat pack. I think Ash Williams would be a perfect fit for Mortal Kombat as he is a hilarious and witty character who almost never takes anything seriously. I can't wait to see Ash interact with the likes of Johnny Cage and the Joker. His chainsaw hand and his shotgun will make great additions to Mortal Kombat and since we got so many horror guests in Mortal Kombat X, I think it's unique that Ash isn't just a generic slasher, but he's actually the hero of the Evil Dead movies, plus he talks. I can't wait to see Bruce Campbell's performance in the game, with the motion capture looking so realistic it's really gonna feel like Ash Williams. There have been a lot of rumors that Doom Guy was gonna be a DLC in Smash Brothers, but as far as I know there is still no confirmation on that. Bethesda and Ed Boon have joked back and forth about the possibility of Doom Guy being in Mortal Kombat on Twitter, and if you ask me, that's a lot more fitting for him than Smash Bros. With the new Doom game coming out next month, it would be a perfect time to announce him and get some cross promotion in. Doom is known for its over the top gore and violence just like Mortal Kombat is, and they were the two most controversial video games of the 90s. It's really a crossover match made in heaven. I really would love to see Doom Guy, or Doom Slayer, whichever you prefer to call him, as a fighter in Mortal Kombat. He has so many weapons and abilities, he could be so fun to play and so brutal, just like any good guest character should be. We seriously need a fatality with the BFG. And finally, my last character for the Combat Pack 2 is Robocop, as he would be a perfect match for the Terminator from the last pack. 
NRS proved that they can make a fully robotic character work with their gore technology, so Robocop isn't totally out of the picture. He is another iconic movie character that almost everybody knows, and while, yeah, he is a little slow and clunky, so was Jason Voorhees, and they managed to make him work in Mortal Kombat X. Robocop's raw strength and arsenal of weapons would make him another really cool addition to Mortal Kombat 11. I seriously hope he makes it. Just to have him and Terminator interact would be almost as perfect as Alien vs Predator. Not to mention, he is a much more interesting police officer than Stryker. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about my wish list. These are characters I really want in the game that I also think have a pretty good chance of actually being in the game. Who do you want to see most in the combat pack too? Thanks for watching. As always, this has been Nick from us. See you later. Let's see how he likes a Kamehameha!